Batman appears determined to disperse this infectious bodily fluids anywhere and everywhere. This may look like a friendly local bait show, but it's actually a satanic temple of death, terror, and animal sacrifice. What are these? My guess is powerful influencing machines designed to make us hate America and love India. Influencing machine is destroyed. Americans freed from its spell will forsake their palak paneer for good old-fashioned cheeseburgers. Judging by the behavior of wildlife in this area, the bioweapon is also spreading estrogen-mimicking endocrine disruptors.
Boston Garden plot is just the beginning. The Rex 84 program is underway. The insectoids are rounding us up for their re-education camps. Sure, it would be more practical since they close the beaches. But why do that when you can just set loose a gang and then set up While gills are remarkable organs, they can only function under very specific environmental conditions. I don't know about you, but I have a small saxitoxin-filled needle that I am prepared to use in case I'm captured for forced labor in the insectoid's copper mines. of society has retaliated but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop mother nature's vengeance. Clearly, the NWO sunk this ship for trying to deliver food, water, and medicine to imperiled patriots.
Uranium-235 test subject, the Irradiated Shadow Horton. Anti-democratic coup is afoot, and it's safe to say the orcas. <laughs> Regarding these spills, I'm proposing complicity on the part of Mayor Wade Hibbert. You see, Hibbert owns 50 shares in Schlumber, who's owned by Exico, who are partners with Saxwell Gold in Varkon, the manufacturer of oil dispersant and mulches. Therefore, it is made for All these recent oil spills are merely contrived events designed to cripple the Gulf's fishing industry. Apropos of nothing, I'd just like to say that the Warren Commission was a total force. Love books, but don't love to read? Autolist.com has over 100 years of awesome titles you can start listening to today. Like Rebecca Jasmine's Gay Frogs. Why are the frogs dead? This may look like a friendly local bait show, but it's actually a satanic temple of death, terror, and animal sacrifice. close to the Army Corps of Engineers informs me that the group has been involved in a purposely directed Gulf population program for years. You see a light. I see a plunge to the engorged phallus of Osiris the Sun. Unlike some folks, I am not easily pacified by manufactured spectacles like senior professional golf tours.
Atomic Energy Commission project, the irradiated electric great white. Interface to wirelessly operate the ship. <laughs> the NWO death squads have made clear their intention to overthrow private property. Extrajudicial killings of all owners of homes with a second bathroom are right around the corner. Mark my words. The shark will have to return to the water to recover from her on land escapade. says they're going to shut down this broadcast under Executive Order 10995. Horse Lake is part of a large open field experiment. A dumping ground for estrogen mimickers to feminize the populace into watching Aubrey Dominique's makeup tutorials rather than Truth Quest. These machines dispersing mental poison from hell, creating a lumpen mass of propaganda drugged Americans who'd rather watch Aubrey Dominique take the Coco Bob challenge than read the Constitution. Shark never fails to attract interest. Dominique, the second 
I'm also currently doing a liver detox. There you see it. The Ishtar Gate and Processional Way are being constructed to welcome all variety of otherworldly entities to seduce and deceive mankind. Love books, but don't love to read? Autolisk.com has over 150,000 titles you can start listening to today. Like Robert Bensky's Debunking the Pearl Harbor Debunkers, an answer to Stephen Schatzman, Walter Eisenbud, and other idiots who criticized my first book. Fort Clovis is a powerful energy vortex, sacred to the insectoids for its high concentration of caffeine, taurine, and high fructose corn. Ferris wheels are incredibly uneconomic, so why are we suddenly seeing them everywhere? Because they are spiritual energy extractors that transform the city into a sun temple for the Illuminati to use in their re- This is just the beginning. Next comes the countrywide search and seizure of our weapons, gold stores, and freeze-dried beef stroganoff. Intimidated by the shark's fierce love of country and implacable devotion to the ideals of liberty, the bioweapon flees to open water. Human's attention spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so thus ends the bounty. sort of large-scale World War III exercise.
Friends, an inner voice has told me to share this revelation. Australia does not exist. The insectoids have worked hard to ensure that they and their conspirators continue to occupy Port Clovis's positions of power, such as Planning Commission Director Steve Traeger. The death of the American dream is an evidence everyone looks these days. 